Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the New York Mets taking on the Bees. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. in the pitch and first offering is fouled off and a pitch got the bat going too oh, soon it's strike two cut out and miss struck him out one out here's Starling Marte Right through there for a strike. Kluber, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. And down on strikes, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Mets, Pete Alonso. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him. Got him! And how about that? It's an immaculate inning! Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the power-speed combo. Colton Kowser. The pitch. Scherzer deals. Check swing, but he went too far. 0-2 oh, now. With Max, you're always thinking about the strikeout. Chris, he's one of three guys along with Clemens and Randy Johnson to strike out 20 in a game. Yeah, and with his delivery and release point, sometimes it seems like that fastball is rising, has a little upshoot to it. Real deception for the hitter, along with pretty good velocity. Here's Nico Horner. Pitch misses inside, and it's one to no. Corner guy who grew up in the Bay Area was a huge fan of those late 80s, early 90s Oakland A's teams with Ricky Henderson and company. And Nico loved getting a chance to not only go watch Oakland play, but also the San Francisco Giants. Fires over to first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. Now it's the DH, Ken Griffey Sr. And first offering is fouled off. So here's Scherzer. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And 
And that one in the air center field. Nimmo makes the play. And that is the third out of the inning. Second inning set to go. And now the catcher comes up to him. Francisco Alvarez. And that's in for a strike. Swings and misses. And it's nothing in two. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Here's Francisco Lindor. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh oh no score here in the second. And strike two. That one ripped. And brings it in at the wall. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Jeff McNeil stands in now and watches strike one. Next pitch misses and one and one. And a big swing and a miss. One, two. It's in and out of his glove. Man at first. Here's Tommy Pham. Tommy Pham. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. McNeil off of first with two away. Fought off foul. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. We head to the bottom of the second. Now the third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And takes low for ball one. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he's made Dad proud so far in his career. Multiple all-star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. Yeah, and so much violence with that swing. Exit velocity is charged and very fun to watch. More play discipline than Dad. Next offering is foul back. Singy, how about this, though? A little more than 400 games into his career, Vlad Jr. had the exact homer total and OBP. Diving stop at second, the throw, and they get the out. Well, that ball off the bat ticketed for the outfield and a base hit for the hitter, but just taken away by the diving stop. Nice job. Heston Kerstad digs in now. And a foul ball. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Singy Max Scherzer has a condition called heterochromia. Do you know what that is? Well, I know what it is because of Max Scherzer, and it's when your eyes are two different colors and something pretty interesting. We've seen it with dogs and you know, individuals, but not a whole lot of humans. And Max Scherzer, one of those with it. Scherzer ahead, one and two. Swings here and blasts one left field. Fan going back, back some more on the warning track and hauls it in. Man, I love that good, route. Good, good. The ball was smoked. Good, he knew he had to get back to the track right away, good. turned his back. On the infield, got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Yeah, left eye is brown, right eye is blue. He calls his left eye his baseball eye. Dusty Baker found out when he asked Max which oh, eye he should that. look at when he's talking to him. No, I think that's kind of funny. Up the middle, Lindor. 
Slings the first inning over. Back here at the ballpark, here's the third baseman, Brett Beatty, and a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Wells tracks it down for the out. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Foul ball. The next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. And a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging. Back to the top of the Mets order. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Let off the game with a strikeout. That one's in there, 0 1. Nimmo goes six feet, three inches, 30 years old now, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in the state of Wyoming. Going to count one, one and two. Two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's a big power threat. Austin Wells. That one finds the zone. And that is strike one. Good eye right there. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. Just missed. Two balls, one strike. That's a little bit low. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. To the right side. Takes it himself. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Well, he didn't recognize changeup sure earlier so. enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Hampson in his fifth season in the eighth spot in today's lineup. Usually a second baseman, but today starting at shortstop. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Marte makes the grab, and there's two down. Well, some people think this is no big deal, but I think when you consider the longer throw, the fact that you've got to be able to cover up the middle to your left, it's a big adjustment for him. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Got him. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. And welcome back. Starling Marte up to him. The right-hander back to work. And that's in for a strike. Well, these Mets, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. Strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Alonso. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing and one. A couple of quick nuggets on Pete Alonzo. He graduated from the same high school as Wade Boggs, Plant High School in the Tampa area. And Alonzo also played at the University of Florida. He was teammates there with Harrison Bader. The Mets yet to pick up a hit here. Got it by him for the K. And here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. He's 0 for 1. Alvarez. And he takes a strike. Ah. 
Two down, nobody on. On the ground. Sends it across to first. That's out number three. Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four at the play. Colton Kowser. Scherzer back to work. And a foul ball. Yo won. And that's outside. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. And now two and one. Check swing and he held up. And he walked him. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. 0 for 1 so far. In for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average. And that's what's allowed him to pitch. Baden to second. Over to Alonzo. Double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get thrown. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. He swings and fouls one off. Next one misses, and it's one and one. And another ball. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. The throw in, not gonna get him, he's in there. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Slider clips the zone. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out. And down on strikes he goes. That's the third out. Inning over. New inning getting started. And now it's Frankie Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. And there's the strike. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Hampson on to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. McNeil batting for the second time, and that's strike one. That's in there. 0 oh and 2. Hoog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense oh. shouldn't either. Hitting wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Over to Smith, there to beat him by an eyelash. Tommy Pham will hit next. And the oh, first pitch complete. misses for ball one. And here it comes. Bounced out to short. And that is that. Bottom of the inning, and now Heston Kerstad. And the right hander back to work. 
And there's the strike. Well, these guys just haven't produced as many competitive at bats as I'd like to see in this one. They really haven't worked many deep counts or long at bats, and that's fine if you're having a lot of success. But at this point, I think it's time to make an adjustment. Pitch misses there. Two and one. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. To first, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Here's Adley Rutschman. Rutschman. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Fouled off. He was late. And the right-hander deals. And that one almost got him. Next pitch inside. And the count is two and two. Kicks and fires. Way high. Time asked for it the plate, and he gets it. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Now batting, left fielder, Austin. Now at the plate, Austin Wells. Ground ball right side could be two. In plenty of time to first, and he's out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. A nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. fly ball out to center field. Nimmo has it sized up. Makes the grab. And that's the third out. Top six. Now the third baseman, Brett Beatty. Kluber back to work. Ball nope. one, no oh strikes. Well, these Mets just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly nope. early Anytime. anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. There's a strike. The Ball next offering three. misses. Ball three. Swings through that one for strike two. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Here's Mark Canna. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Canna measures six feet, two inches, 210 pounds, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. Riding to the plate. And that's a strike. You know, Boo, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. Jack Swing went around, and it's two and two. Struck him out looking. Here's the Mets leadoff man, Brandon Nimmo, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. In there, and it's 0-1. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Back 
here at the ballpark. Bottom of the sixth inning. Dom Smith stands in. And the pitch. And there's a ball. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. Dominic Smith goes deep, and that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So the lineup flips over. Stepping in, Colton Kowser. First offering and it just misses. But he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. In the air, left side. Could be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, but he's in there easily. So digging in, Nico Horner. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Horner, a guy you think about with a strong baseball IQ, but just the overall smarts. He comes from an educational background. Both of his parents at one time taught at Stanford, and his mom currently is on the faculty at Cal. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Ball to strike. Way out front for strike two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And that one goes straight to the backstop. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. And that one ripped to left. Coming on is Pham to make the play. Runner tags for home. Now he pumps the brakes and returns to third. Ken Griffey Sr., the next to hit, one for two. Hit high in the air. There it goes. Cena. the dugout and they throw a pair on the board it's three nothing well he went up there oh oh looking to do damage i think he had his sight set on that pitch he went and got it and circled the bases new pitcher on now You're jeff brigham and we all know about his slider it's just filthy man and one of the better ones yeah. in the game i'd say spin rates very high and it just breaks a ton Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First offering misses the mark. Vladdy, 24 years old, and he was born in Canada. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Probably no surprise to you, Boog, but Toronto produces more MLB players than any other city in Canada. Montreal is right up there, too. Still only one out here in the inning. And that's ball four. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Kerstad, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Rolled to short, possible two ball. To second for one, double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. And welcome back, top of inning number seven. Now the number two hitter, Starling Marte. 
The line of the pitch. And fouled off. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Here's Pete Alonso. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. The Mets hitless so far in the game. Fights it off, you'll see another. Here's the 0-2. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A-B going. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a foul straight back. The pitch. Come back into the mound. And the Mets go one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, please help. Brooks really on the pitch here. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Line drive to short and caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. And first offering is fouled off. Timeout asked for and give it at the plate now. Next offering misses, and the count is one and one. Hard hit left side. Two up, two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Here's Garrett Hampson. Dances out of the way of that one. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those Number are the ones you dream Number about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Smith in the box now. No balls and a strike. He's already homered here in this one. Next pitch is downstairs. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised. Run around the goal. Cut on and miss. Safe at second, and that was not close. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Welcome back. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. You know, he's been so great today. Really just 
throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Deal two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. And a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Mets, Tommy Pham. Here's a strike. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Colton Kowser. Colton. The pitch. Ball one there. Good eye right there. That one off the mark. Three balls, no strikes. And there's a strike. The wide to kick the pitch. And so the lefty nope. allows the leadoff free pass. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Corner stands in now, looks at that one inside. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball is going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Now he steps out as time is granted. 2-0. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Man at first. And now the DH. Ken Griffey Sr. He's already homered in this game. Swings through that one. 0-1. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball. They can... The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Liner, base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Runners on the corners with one gone. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Intentional pass coming. Base is now loaded, though it does set up a force at every base. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat, but this team does not want to let him beat him. So now a pinch hitter, Vladimir Guerrero. One out, the base is loaded. Big spot for him. Guerrero. And that's in there for strike one. On the ground, two ball. Over to McNeil. And that's two. So remaining in the game defensively, Vladimir Guerrero. He'll be the new right fielder after entering as a pinch hitter. Here's the third baseman, Brett Beatty. Everyone's attention on the no-hit bid now. Three tough outs to get. You can only imagine the nerves that some of the defensive players have right now. You've got to have the mindset, I want the ball hit to me, but in front of that, you hope that he strikes the hitter out. Strike two. Hey. 
the punch out there and he's down on strikes for the second time today and next is the designated hitter Mark Canna one of their last chances to break up the no-no and the first pitch misses for ball one and there's a foul ball And now one and two. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. Back to the top of the lineup, Brandon Nimmo. Up now for the Mets. And the no-hit bid comes down to this. One more out to get. Out to short. Oh, great stop. Not in time. And the no-hitter is gone. Now batting. Right fielder. Starling Marte. Up now for the Mets. Now time called. Pitching coach coming out for a meeting as two relievers continue to throw in the bullpen. So they turn things over to the righty. Goose Gossage. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Your attention, please. Now pitching. Gossin. There's a strike. Nimmo off of first with two away. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. He's had a tough day at the plate, three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think now. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, a three-pitch save. This guy might feel cheated a little bit. Gets in the ball game, wants to show off his arsenal, and really didn't get that opportunity. But I think he'll take it. Whenever you can get that save and do it efficiently, he'll be ready to pitch tomorrow. A shutout in this one, 3-0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.